Uh, Millennia apparently does have someone streaming it too. Oh. Uh, one singular viewer watching watching Millennia. Oh, already loaded up. C Prompt Games is apparently de the developer. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, yep, here we are. Bit laggy. At least uh, this is a little weird. Um. Let's take a look at, uh, oh. The classics. Feels very civvy. Good, good. Hold on, I'm gonna, gonna tweet out and stuff that I'm doing this. Let's just do a quick start and see. Um, what are we feeling? I'm feeling the United States. Hopefully it's better than the Civ 5 United States. Let's do it. Quilty depths, sure. Wow, yeah, it's very civilization. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen a couple little screenshots of this, but never anything more, really. Uh, okay, gonna do a quick at here. All right. Research, your nation generates knowledge that you use for technology. The more knowledge you have, the faster you do research. Each your region generates production, which is used. Uh, hello, tooltip. Thank you. Construct uh, buildings, train units, found, fund projects at each of your regional capitals. Uh, that's something that's going to be interesting, the regional capital. I think that's going to be like a very Civ 6 sort of thing, how it's like every city is a city and then the tiles around it have other actual things. Like there are buildings in the tiles around it, not in the city necessarily. Except maybe they're... I mean, it sounds like they're kind of going for like a middle ground between that and Civ 5 and probably all the other Civs where it's all in your city, but the areas around it are... Yeah. Army basics. You know, I think I can get most of this stuff. All right, so we... Uh, 
All right. Yeah, the graphics are definitely very simplistic. Like, this is... What, you're... It really does look like... 2010, kinda. All right. Age of Stone research. Let's see. Farming, tribal elders, defenses, scouting, and workers. Next would be the Bronze Age. And a war band. I wonder if it has like a re an area that actually can be worked. Like in Civ 5, you can only have like you can only work tiles that are like three away from a city. Otherwise, I mean, they can be worked, but they don't get anything from it. So it's probably a good idea to build cities about two away from each other to like op to have optimal amount of like just efficient land use without having because you're rarely ever going to be working the entire area I, I'm talking about a game that I is not this one so you know a tribal this looks kind of Civ 6 -y. Having like the cards, kind of, but I mean, that's really more just the UI. I don't think they actually have the cards sort of thing here. All right, and this is government something. Are you spend government points to get these buffs, I'm guessing? I think, are they permanent? Hmm. Okay, I need these things. I'm just kind of fumbling about right now. I've never been a big scout guy. I'm leaning towards wanting to do farming. That sounds good. Culture. Create town. Local reforms. I'm is create town, I wonder, like, make another one of these? Feels a little weird having it be Washington. Alright, so we got a couple war bands. Explore around a little. Let's make sure that there's not actually anything over there. Probably not. Region idle. Alright, I could build... Alright, yeah. Like in Civ 5, you kind of build things. You build buildings. All buildings. Build buildings. Influence. On build one time border expansion for 100 influence or gain 100 influence? No, Paradox as a publisher is pretty good at recognizing hey, this game did something, this other company did something really good. Now they're not doing it so great. Let's do it better. That's exactly what they did with. with City Skylines. They were like, no one was really into the newer si uh, Sim City game, so let's make a better Sim City. Let's go and go for the town center. Uh, all right. 
A sweet end turn. Some locations on the map contain special goods like flax, marble, wheat. I like that we got flax and wheat. Is it I like more resources I'd say the better. Uh to a point. Cause it's Uh I feel like it's pretty sparse in Civ. Goods are in your territory, you can build improvements, gather them. Cool. Alright, I thought that was gonna be like that. Alright. Still working on the culture and the other thing. Landmarks. Move a scout next to an undiscovered landmark and use the scout's discover landmark unit action. Gain a one-time bonus. Hmm. Cool. I've not seen one yet. Hills, okay. Tribal government offers ideals that can be purchased to improve your nation. Currently, you have enough government domain to purchase a tribal government ideal. Just tribal farming. I think we do want to do that. Tribal farming. Increase food production. Yeah. Either we buy this one or save up for one of the next ones. Oh. Tribal camp. Ooh. I want to grab that. It's kind of like the ruins. Culture power. Culture powers are powerful abilities that mark major events in the history of your nation. As you generate culture, the culture meter to the left fills. When full, you can select a culture power to cause a potent effect. Different culture powers unlock throughout the course of the game. Click uh, in the area of culture. Create a new town. Can I not? Oh, okay, there we are. So was that like just a straight up new city? I don't think that'd be exact that'd be what it is. Like Hey Om, how's it going, man? Thanks for the hydrate. For some reason the actual picture is not showing up. Also the game's lagging my VTube studio. Kinda of nasty. No, it's not. I'm surprised. How you doing, man? 
Yeah, this is millennia, which is like Civ. Okay, I hope you had a good time. Okay, yeah, we would need Settler. Let's... Oh! I see! I made Bastin. That's right! Happy birthday, man! That's interesting. That's a different way of doing... Interesting. Yeah, I was getting really annoyed at Civ or S S Crusader Kings. I I was just getting. I beat one rebellion, got another, declared war on by another guy, declared war on by another guy, declared war on by another guy, declared war on by another guy. It was just a pain. It was a pain, so. I just decided because there's only less than a day left of this demo available that I just tried this out. Uh, yeah, I made Boston apparently. Lost Archers. Lost Archer unit is making camp, hiding from barbarians. Uh, let them join. Meet. I mean, I'm getting the real Middle East experience. So, but I may be done with that campaign, because it just... I, I got... I made my empire... And it just feels like it's chipping away at me, and it's... I don't know what I could be doing better. Like, maybe if I had expanded a little bit slower. And it didn't help that my last guy was assassinated. Okay, yeah, thanks for dropping by, man. You have a good night. Okay, yeah, these guys now have archers in the unit, so that's actually cool. I think that's a better way to do it than just have a bunch of dudes kind of around, you know? Okay, you can just chill there. Oh! I, your people need food! Mmm, that looks tasty. Looks... Well, I mean, it's a little bit of salmon on white rice. More food. Grow more. Normal stuff. Basic combat. Look one of your armies and right click on an enemy army and their movement range will initiate combat. At the start of the combat, combat viewer <sighs> me. Oh. Uh, will appear and show the fight. Once a battle has started, it plays out automatically without commands from the player since different unit types use, act differently in battle. The depiction of the battle presented here can be used to see how various units in either army perform. Battle markers on the map and the battle alerts on the right side of the screen can be used to review combat. Or... We'll get it. Who is that? That is... Russia! I'm out of move. A lot stronger than that one. It's just one dude. Is that... It's a cavalry. Wow. 
Already? And we got a tech. Farming fundamentally changed society. For millennia, humans had survived in small bands of nomadic hunter-gatherers. As crops began, became a dependable source of food, permanent settlements took root, and populations swelled. Okay, so once I get three, I enter the Bronze Age. I'm going to try this one. Council building. Look at me, Mom! I'm a Vuvuzela! Actually, that's probably a didgeridoo. I'm shamed! You have met another nation. You will address us with respect if you know what it's good for you. It's a little bit of a shame that you don't have the icons. Not even icons, like the little models of the leaders of the empire that speak to you. Minor nations, so those are the city-states. Speaking of, one right there. All right. Sounds cool. All right, and that grew there. Mistakes happen. Excellent. Uh, hopefully, it'll be less laggy when the game is finished. That it won't hang up like that. And also, maybe it'll be a little bit better optimized so that I can actually. Move a little bit better than this. Kyoto? Why are you not Japan? Hey, Sven, how's it going, man? Thanks for the hydrate. Hope you had a good day. Ah, you scared me by saying oogity boogity boo. Strange designs. The machines and tools used in this village are unlike any other. They serve the same purpose, but are designed with completely unique ideas. Yeah, like, if you... If it's not... If it's more... I don't know. I'll let you discern if you want to actually uh, just talk about it in the Discord. In, like... In the general... 
or if you'd ra rather DM me, but it depends on what it is. I don't want it getting... I don't know. Yeah, just ask me and we'll see what, ha uh, see what I feel is the best way to answer it. I'll probably be up for at least another couple hours, probably. I probably will be going to bed a bit earlier. I, I can stay up later. But... Because I, I don't have to be up until quite a bit later than usual, but yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, the day was okay. I was not feeling... I was feeling a little sick. At, uh... Like, in, in, in the morning and into the afternoon. But I'm feeling better now. Like, my nose is kind of runny and I was feeling sore. So I, that's part of the reason I may go to bed a bit earlier than I have to. And I was getting annoyed with CK3. I was getting attacked constantly. And I... Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I just decided to try out the demo for this other game. Which is not Civilization. But made by Paradox. Published, at least. All right, machine tools use the village are unlike any other. So the same purpose, unique thing. Um. Over knowledge. All right, so this is like a tech bonus. Rival elders. All right, but we got an ad. We will be back in a couple minutes. So stick around. Stick around.
And we're back. So we got tribal elders. Early human societies were generally without formal leaders. Still, good guidance could be the difference between life and death. At a time when lifespans were brief, this meant looking for direction from those who had managed to survive a few more seasons. Oh yeah, Perez, go man. Ah, oh, you're not a big fan of this? Well, so firstly, this is developed by a company that is, it's not one of Paradox's internal ones. At least not directly. It's not the same guys that would be making EU5. Apparently they've made a game called Heretic Operative. Self-published, apparently. Yeah, it's just Paradox publishing this one. Okay, let's see here. Oh, uh, let's go for workers, I think. But it really does feel just like another civilization. I would have to play a little bit more of this to see how I'm feeling about it. Let's improvement points in the bottom left. Hunting camp. Okay. Sure. Okay, get some more food. Where does it actually say how much food I've got? Is that up to uh, wealth? I mean, we'll be able to grow faster. Growth in eight turns, or seven point, no, it's seven point five percent per turn. Yeah, it's eight turns and it'll grow again. <laughs> Average paradox fan. Millennia is divided into ages. Each age offers different rules, technologies, units, and buildings. First nation to complete an age sets the course for all other nations. Hmm. The Age of Bronze is the only choice now, but history can branch later in the game. After you have at least three technologies researched, sele select the research meter at the top left, and then click Age of Bronze, start moving into the next age. Okay, yeah, someone else has done it, it seems.
Use culture power. Yeah, let's do those local reforms. I am not precisely sure what that did, but it did something. All right, got workers. Early humans dedicated their time to tasks essential for individual survival. After farming took hold, it was possible for an individual to meet the needs of several other people. This allowed for larger group efforts and for workers who could labor at community projects. All right, the Bronze Age we go. Or, yeah, let's go, let's, let's go ahead and get to the Bronze Age. See what that's like. Expand it a little bit right there. You have enough government domain XP to summon a settler. Select government on the left, then select a... Stop. Select the spawn settler domain power. Target this on your capital city. After you have created a settler, move it to an open space outside of your borders and use the established new vassalized territory unit action. Your new territory starts as a vassal that manages itself and sends you a small tribute each turn. The integration of the vassal will increase each turn. When complete, you can convert the vassal into a region. Left it to see its progress. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Sure, let's go ahead and make a settler. Let's scoot you, uh, like, here. Well, that's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. Hmm, council. Building pay 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 Sure. This looks like it'll be a good spot. Does being on fresh water make a difference? I don't think so. Kazan. Hmm. We should attack Russia. Dale, 
Dallas? What the hell? Dallas. What, like, <laughs> Dallas. Washington? Yeah, makes sense. Boston as a town? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Dallas? This early? Game's gimmick. Yeah, I don't know. Like, right now, it feels just very civ. Like, right now, I know that the ages are different. That seems kind of interesting, but it really is feeling like it's... Why not just play Civ? So far, I'm not exactly impressed. I will be honest. I'm gonna... Uh, let's kill Kazan. Nope, my armies have not been in a few fights. Leaders. I think the combat is a bit more focused. In the way there are like subunits within your unit. That's also kind of cool. Oh, hey, India. India made the Bronze Age, it looks like. New national spirits unlocked. Vassal integration is great two times faster during the Bronze Age. Barbarian warlords may appear. Innovation and chaos events may appear. Trade and diplomatic envoys are available. Diplomacy and engineering, national spirit, trade. You can now select the first national spirit. In domains area on the left is a round marker that indicates that you have an open national spirit slot. Click this to see a menu of national spirits. Each of these has a set of thematic ideals that can be unlocked using XP from one of your domains, influencing the growth of your nation based on the chosen archetype. Alright, I think things get more complex as time goes on, and that makes a lot of sense, because society became more complex as time went on. Thematic ideal... Pardon me. Mm. Like the national spirit provides a small bonus of domain XP and also causes you to generate additional points in that domain. I'm still not paying enough attention probably to points and stuff. I'm getting a, a little groggy as well. Domain and cultural power. That's a lot of stuff. I've got, I got grogged. I have been grogged. Oh, 
we've got innovation and chaos so it's got a whole lot more it's starting to add more things than Civ has oh we got roads here that are automatically connected up that's neat Belief, community, discipline, officials, mining, shipbuilding. Hmm. Let's go discipline. I want to kill Kazan. I want to take that. Age of Blood, Age of Heroes, and Age of Iron. Interesting. So whoever gets these gets three of these first chooses whichever age we go into. Or it depends on these things. I got default, got one discover enough stuff, and this one's a kill enough stuff. Cool. Uh, let's go community. That's what I'm feeling now. do this one get diplomacy actually no let's not do diplomacy let's build these I guess Choose the national spirit. Hmm. Ooh. I'm going to go warriors. Elite warriors of great fame that are fearsome on the battlefield. Even on defense, their capital and armies guard better and heal quicker, threatening to strike back and force. Uh, I've never heard enforce, I don't think. I always thought it was in force. I know en masse. Hooray! Spartans! second domain there are six domains you can start with the government domains and unlock the others when you earn your first xp in each click any domain on the left to see any domain powers currently available as you earn domain xp you will be able to spend it on power points for unique results neat Hmm. I 
I'm guessing you can't change which one you choose. Not a bad thing. Just yay. In the age of bronze, it is possible to move into a crisis age. The age of blood is unlocked if you kill six or more units from another nation, not barbarians. So that's sounding kind of like a bronze age collapse sort of thing. If unlocked, the age of bronze will become the only option that you can pick to advance the age. Okay. The game moves into the Age of Blood. Specific rules are applied. All nations are at war with one another, a and a different set of units, technologies, and buildings are available. Hmm. I've declared hostilities. Can I... Do I have to wait until the next turn? You know, let's just do that. Oh, that can be on the same tile. Interesting. You kind of combine them all, and you can split them apart, I presume. Interesting. Along with the first crisis age, the age of bronze also presents you uh, your first variant age, the age of heroes. The age of heroes presides a, provides a different set of content and gameplay inspired by ancient heroes, quests, and technologies. The age of heroes is unlocked and available for the research uh, if, you, if your scouts discover three or more landmarks. The standard path through history moves into the iron age. But variants like the Age of Heroes allow you to take history in a different direction. Uh, am I not at war with them? Can I really not? Like... Barbarian warlord. I 
No. Not everyone is friendly. Like me! I'm not friendly. For that matter, not everyone is civilized. Like me! I'm not civilized. Bar Tooltip. Uh, barbarians roam the world. These ruffians might attack your units or raid your territory. Barbarians come from barbarian camps. Eliminate the camps to keep the barbarians under control and to gain one-time rewards. Lone barbarians are easy targets, but barbarian camps and barbarian warlords put up more of a fight. Okay, no, we already had that fight. Or, we're about to. Oh, this is kind of cool. K kinda. It, it does look sorta... Kinda mobile gamey. that one died or there we are yeah nice Uh, let's do this one. We might be able to get ourselves a declaration of war with it. This will finish him off pretty easy. Oh, here it is. Okay, I see. Alright, let's give it a little bit. Community. Growing populations allowed a degree of mutual support and cooperation in early societies. People could dedicate themselves to different types of labor producing a wider variety of goods because others in the community work to supply necessities like food Let's go ahead and do officials. Go 
going back and grabbing these other ones wouldn't be bad either, though. Everyone now can go ahead and defend. Can you not? Hold on. Or did I already have them? You could move it in there. Actually, it'd probably be wiser. You move there. You move there. This is growing in your regions. Larger regions and higher populations can cause unrest. If you don't counter unrest with unrest suppression, hmm, hmm. Well, give them a little, hmm, hmm. Man, this is really making OBS lag. I like how. How laggy is it for you guys? Like, obviously, visually, it's quite a bit laggy. But like, is the audio laggy, too? Like, my voice. And higher levels will cause writing and spawning enemies. Enemy rebels. The easiest way to deal with the unrest is to leave a few military units in a restless capital. Pardon me, uh... Units are especially good for suppressing at regional unrest. Have noticed any lag? Okay. Yeah, because it just. OBS itself is kind of stuttery. Let's see how this goes. It's looking bad. Dang, he died. me don't worry okay i think we want to let's go ahead and attack you regional capital conquered heck yeah i killed a guy and took all their money and got some chaos but at what cost it doesn't matter Okay, unrest is calm. Explorer, oh. I'm guessing that's more of Russia. Yes, it is that, uh, Vologda, apparently. Oh, 
All right, it's expanding pretty well. The horse just kind of slid. I mean, it's a demo, so... There we are. Blacks. Cool. I was thinking that with poppies for a second. We are losing money, it would seem. What's this? Been an envoy, I guess. Cool. Larger societies were inevitable, with multiple cities overseen by a central government. The scale of those early nations was great enough to require formal administration, generally carried out by officials trusted by the ultimate ruler. Hmm. Yeah, let's go discipline. Good chance we're gonna be ending up in the age of blood. You want unrest. These guys are unrest suppression. Slightly more expensive than the war band, but they keep them down. Let's see. I think we want to be making... The market really not give you money? Because that's kind of what I'm lacking right now. The, the diplomacy. Upgrade line market. It's interesting that they are quoting a historian that's being interviewed, it seems. Hmm. All the early ones seem to be from him. Dommel Stewart. I don't 
don't know. Let's go and build a market. Why not? Plantation, food, exploration XP. I have Evan. Okay, you gotta make. Gotta remember to do that. Hey, we're making money again. Where is it listing my production? It's somewhere. I'm just probably not seeing it. Ooh, they are actually quite a bit more built up. We almost got one of them. And they were just obliterated. Okay. It's good to get the hang of them, how exactly they function. We got eight population. I really should have been putting those things down a lot earlier. probably part of that
Oh, that's right. Yeah. Do that there. Warfare became more structured over time. Successful armies were the ones with discipline and the ability to employ tactics like formations, both of which required organized practice. I'm losing my energy here too. I think I may only have 10 more minutes left in me. I mean, we are... We power our way to turn 60. Hmm. I, I mean, it feels like it doesn't quite have the same draw. I don't know. Like, Civ 5 has something to it that's like. I don't know, a bit more appealing. Where uh, this is doesn't quite have the same thing. But mechanically speaking, it's very, very similar. I play I bought Civ 6 at launch. It was all right. Like I played it a little bit and I was like, oh, it's a, it's all right. I'm gonna come back to it and I never came back to it. I've heard it got better, but I've just had zero interest in going to Civ 6. Like I've played Civ 5 a couple times since then and I've enjoyed 5 still quite a bit. How many hours do I have in Civ 5? I have 3,211 hours in Civ 5. I don't know if that counts. Like, I used... I used the... sort of map maker... program? I used that for making maps for Dungeons & Dragons for quite a long time, so I wonder if that plays into it. How many hours do I have in Civ in Crusader Kings 2? Wow, yeah. I've only got 2,200 hours in, uh, in CK2. U4, I've got 2,071. And before you know it, I'll catch up to CK2. Yo, new type, what's up, man? Oh, yeah. I... I started fighting some rebels i beat them then more rebels then some declared war on me more rebels some declared war on like it was just constant everyone was taking advantage of my position that i was in and i didn't know how to make my position any better and like i was it was just constant like i finished one war and then two more started All right, uh... Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, how are you liking the Cell Saga? Let's do belief. Or do I want to go to Iron Age? Like, it's a lot like Civ, yeah. It's called Millennia. It is being published by Paradox. This is just a demo. In case you couldn't tell from the title. Yeah, Goku dumb. A lot to read here, and I'm getting tired. <laughs> uh, let's just... You know, let's do the Iron Age. Uh, yeah, sure. I didn't even put an E at the... Oh. Countryside outside of Washington has been dangerous due to the rise of brigands. If nothing is done, the brigands will gain confidence and begin harassing the citizens of Washington. What should be done? Except... Alright, thanks for dropping by again, man. Have a good night. They're about to burn down Dallas. All right, get you in there. There's a lot of them, wow. Who's that? I'm at the Aztecs. Yeah, they just have such goofy little animations. That China. All of America's friends here. Russia, China, and Mexico.
And they're gone. Wait, did that become an envoy? Oh no, I think I took my envoy with me. Did that just make my envoy more defensive? What just happened? But... but I think I am actually gonna call it here. This is interesting. I'm not sure how much I would want to continue on with this, like in all honesty. Maybe if I get a little bit more a hang of it, I could do a bit better. I could feel a bit better about it. But right now, I'm not exactly hyped for it. Tomorrow, uh, the plan was see, actually no, I was, I'm not gonna stream tomorrow. Then Wednesday, I should... It'll be a late night OC radio stream. Probably. If I can, I might be a little short on time. We will see how that plays out. So... That'll be it for this one, then. This was... Something. So until next time, thank you guys very much for joining me. And have a good night. Bye.